prophecies, revelations, economic collapse, martial law, social and civil, aliens, human hybrids, nephilim, the great deception, world chaos, tsunamis. You want to stay tuned for special edition End Time Revelations with Pastor Henry Schaefer and Pastor Steve Hall. Welcome to CSRE. I'm your host, Henry Schaefer, Schaefer, and welcome to another special edition of Project Seer. And I have here in the studio with me RPI, Prophet Guy Latch, and uh, Bishop Steve Hall, and uh, Bishop uh, Bill George. He's all here in the studio with me, and I'm Pastor Henry Schaefer right here as your host here today in this special edition. We are going while we're taking advantage of uh, our brother and being all the way from Mississippi. No, Louisiana. 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 I'll make, sure, hey, I better make <laughs> sure I get that right. All the way from Louisiana that they are here with us and they're going to be uh, speaking into our lives today about what is God, what's God doing in the end times. And so I'm going to turn it over to Steve while I get this thing on Facebook. Here we go. Well, you know, we just got off the air and now we're coming back on Facebook because we got talking after the, this, the first uh seer show that we just got done and now we we got so excited in our own little world right here we decided <laughs> to share this with uh, facebook and our listening audience so we welcome you aboard and now we're just going to kind of bring in the uh, prophet guy latch and let you uh, listen to some of the things we we're talking about uh, we we're talking about cern we were talking about uh, alien deceptions and we were talking about the things that uh, a lot of people have shut out because they just don't believe in there's any reality out there other than the one they can see, touch, and taste with their own feelings. And uh, so, yeah, there's dimensions that are opening, and we want to get into some of those as well. So let's go. So let's 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 talk about let's set the set the, the foundation here. So let, we want to first discuss. Let's see this here about the alien agenda, and we, so we were talking about perplexity of nations. Right. And about the church not being even aware of what's going on. Not aware at so all. So now what's going to happen is that if there are the fallen angel technology, that there are demons, that there are aliens that are demonic, then this is going to play into the end times. So with that, tell us what is your mindset. Tell us how this uh, revelation is going to happen out with the church. Well, first thing, the end time religion will be called Mystery Babylon. Mm-hmm. Now, the priestly sect of the Babylonians were the Chaldeans. The Chaldeans studied the stars. Right. Now, if, if the listeners look at ancient aliens that come on the History Channel, almost every major ancient site is connected to the P Pallades or Orion. Mm -hmm. All right. That's stars. All right, and part of that mystery Babylon was that these that came from that's above is going to come back again, going to return again. Um, mm. We said on the previous broadcast that Satan tries to imitate God. Yeah. Jesus left. Jesus will what? Return. He's coming back. He's coming back. Amen. And Amen. soon. <laughs> Real soon. Well, this false Christ, this Antichrist, is going to come from above, and he's going to return also. All right? But what we have to realize now, um, we're living in a time that's, that's, that we have been kind of programmed to accept this. Almost every major movie out of Hollywood, it's, it has some alien... Yeah. Or some supernatural, some mysticism. Yes. Now, I don't watch much television, but uh, there's a new show that comes, uh, I think it's coming on ABC. It's called Marvel. Yeah, I've it's been Marvel. watching it. And all of them have unique powers. Yep. All right. 
Now, remember in Revelation, it says that the Antichrist will be able to do what? Signs, yes. wonders in the presence of the uh, false prophet. And for that to, to go the way it's supposed to go, Hollywood is just setting you up for it because they are, they show people with powers and ability to do this and ability to stop this and all the rest of it. So when it comes, so when it comes into reality, they will be susceptible to it. And they'll think the gods have come down among us again. Again, yep. yeah. Because that's the, you go back all the way to, to to the Greeks and the Greeks mythology is when man and, uh, and well gods man and gods yep. made beings that were on the earth that's and right. they that's how they made their godheads and i don't know all the things about the greek gods but i know that they had their sons and their sons were part human had their daughters and their daughters would be part human and so then you get into this uh alien deception thing that right. we're talking about right where right. there's there's something coming and they're going to call them part demigods demigods yeah right. and, and they're going to be part man part gods and then the world's going to wander after the beast. That's right. right. Yeah. I mean, you look at Hitler. Hitler was trying to do so much. You he know, focused try, on it. Focus on that. Yes, but matter of fact, he was looking for the Ark of Covenant. Yep. That's what he was trying. The spirit and, of and, destiny. And All those yeah, when you think about the uh, guy that played Raiders of the Lost Ark, uh, Benjamin, uh, uh, what his name was? Uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Yeah, the the movies uh, uh Raiders of like Harrison Ford. Harrison Ford that played yeah. that there was that the guy this guy was real. I was uh, reading um it was uh, his name was Benjamin something. Um uh, I can't think his name. But anyway, he was giving them information. You know, he said, "Listen, y'all made these movies, but I That's give true. you this." That's true. Yeah, he said, yeah. "I made these movies, all the Raiders of the Lost all uh uh and all the Indiana Jones." Right. He said, "I give you this information, but I don't want don't you give the information that I found. What I'm searching for. What I'm searching for. Right. And when you look at that, all this thing with Hitler, Hitler like, hey, if I can get this, get this power, I can make these super soldiers, which right. to me is more of an in the rise of Nephilims because it's why he was trying to get this pure race with no blemish or nothing. And these demons, intim, intim, uh, entities were rising there because, you know, he had his own gospel. You know, right. he, he had he his did. own Bible and everything. He Well, well first thing, He's, he did want a super soldier, but it, it was taken from the legend of Atlantis. That's yeah. why I was asking you about Antarctica. Yeah. Because uh, the the chief uh, people in Atlantis were called Aryans. Mm -hmm. They were like demigods. Yeah. See? And so, but but another thing that you have to realize is that the alien technology came about in the forties with what you were talking about about Admiral Byrd, mm -hmm. but it 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 came to the Germans first. Yeah, that's exactly right. right. And uh, that's why, if you watch, that's part of the reason why I watch it to to get certain information. Not that I believe what they're talking about, but but uh, they had certain women that wore their hair grill. Yeah, they, and who is this? The grill. They had a the certain grill. The grills, they were women who had long hair and they channeled demons. And yes. they, right, right. They represented to Hitler and his crew I remember a that supernatural now. element. Yeah. Right. And they counted on them to bring knowledge and power through them to give to the Nazis. Right. Exactly. Right. And, that, and on, one, on one of the broadcasts, they said some general and them, before the fall of the Reich, they left and went to another planet. Mm hmm. And now, now to people that say, well, that's crazy. But, but, uh, you, but, but you know, they were talking about that bell shaped. Yeah, the craft. bell. Yeah, the bell. Yeah, the yeah. bell shaped craft. You know, they believe that that thing actually went places, you know, through the time travel yeah. or through the but, space travel. But they did a whole show on Werner von Braun. That mm -hmm. was the man over the NASA program. Yeah, yeah. That's right. He was a high-ranking Nazi. Operation Paperclip. Paperclip. They and, brought them all over here. And th and that's the with thing. With the technology. And they exactly. asked him, how did you find it out? And he said it came from above. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because if you read that war, you know, when we went into war with Hitler, you know, basically we got into the war because he was, you know, he was coming to America. But the technology, because when we went over there, we got all the scientists. We you know what I'm saying? Russia got, Russia got some of them Russia too. Got Russia got some of them. And like, listen, y'all come to America, 
we will you know do this do this for you we'll take care of you all we want is you to give us some of this technology and that's when nasa formed okay go ahead i'll, I'll just finish that's when nasa started forming and, and then russia got the i guess the leftovers that we left because you look at the history the two greatest powers in the world was russia and america you go back to the star wars mm -hmm. the technology we had and everything because you know, I was talking to a friend of mine, and he was saying that with the technology, they are like 50, 40 something years advanced. Exactly. Yeah. You know, before the things come out, like all these cell phones and all these different things. This stuff was already came out by the entities and all the different things. And I truly think most of that stuff came from Hitler with his signs, because a lot of them, you know, Hitler had, like you said, the ladies, and then they told him, listen, you have these seven people that's in your circle. As long as these seven people, y'all stay together, nobody dies. You will stay in power, but he ended up got upset and killing one of them, and that's right. how his you know well anyway. So, um, and I don't I don't know the person's name. So you have to help me in here. But uh, when uh, von Braun died, right. there was his secretary or someone that was very close confidant with him. He called her together mm -hmm. and said, "This is what's coming, and when you, and when I pass, the next great." revelation that will come is that aliens will show up and he told her don't be deceived he told her do not be deceived in what's coming and then he passed away and she tells picks up the story and tells the story about what uh von braun told her before she passed away of the you know rocket ships and all the stuff yeah. of the revelation that came so with that being said is that this man got all this technology. That's right. And he knows the next step, and she's trying to share it with everyone. And we as people, because uh, we kind of like take our pastor's hats off talking about all this stuff, <laughs> and again, we take our religious stuff off, is that the next thing to show up will be some type of an alien disclosure. And what will that do to the church people? Oh, man. Well, I mean, see. when the alien disclosure comes. Well, I'll put the. I used to read Daniel a lot, and Daniel is like you know the Old Testament revelation, but but it says in there that he will not. Okay, caller, you live and on the air. Got a comment? Got a question? Yeah, I want to know if you have unbelief and doubt, can it be cast? Can you uh, cast it out? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take this call. You go ahead, Prophet. Go right in. And so what happened, they, what they're setting us up for, because in Daniel said, he will not worship the God of his fathers, nor any other God. That's right. And I sit back, I sit back and, and, and meditate on that. And then when you go to Revelation, say, oh, she'll bow to the beast. Mm -hmm. Now we the easiest ones to, to bow. A Muslim, is, you got you to gotta be talking some real stuff. But, but of course, in Islam, they believe they're going to have a savior called the Mahdi. Mm -hmm. Mahdi. That's right. Hindus, you got to have talking some serious stuff because they don't, they just don't give it. See, all the people that, all the people that says these other doctrines, they believe in their doctrines. That's right. And, they, and it's hard to convince them that they're not right. We the easiest ones to get <laughs> confess <laughs> unbelievably to me. All right. But for someone to have that type of power to be able to influence all these different various people, you gotta come with something more than just talk. That's right. They gotta see some action. Exactly. And and that's and that's exactly when it comes with all lying signs and wonders. Right. And it's gonna deceive a lot of people that way. It's going to deceive a lot of people. Then another thing that I don't know if you have ever heard of this guy. His name was David Flynn. His brother wrote a book named Mark Flynn. David Flynn was a genius. And uh, he has, matter of fact, Steve Quayle offers the book. I have the book. Sidonia, the lost history of Mars. Now, I'm not going to go into whole bunch of detail and that. I would like you to get the book and read the book. <laughs> but you can definitely see that this man was given this by God. It wasn't nothing off the top of his head. It had to be God for him to 
be able to line that stuff up like that. But uh, but anyway, what I'm saying, what's coming along is, see, the children are already preconditioned for this. We all the generation was in. Uh, yeah. But they believe. Yes. Mm-hmm. They believe already. So all you got to do is come with all the bells and the whistles and the powers and all the rest of that kind of stuff because you've been preconditioned by Hollywood. This is what a God is supposed to be able to do. Huh? Yeah. I mean, you think about the movies that we see. <laughs> you know, my son is a pet. is like a, he's a 14. He's a daddy. You really think a person can really get his hand and move walls and uh, like, you know, and I'm saying to myself, okay, now he's looking at that. And, you know, when you see stuff like that, you know, mm-hmm. it plays in your mind. You know, it plays in your mind. Now, if my son, 14, he does, you know, think it and he trying to do this stuff, you know, then imagine what it showed the people. Mm-hmm. You know, the people see this and they like, wow, you know, it is true. It is true. He's He got to be God. Only God can do, you know, especially I'm talking about the church people. I ain't talking about the world. The world bleed anything, but the church people, he got to, this got to be the God. This got to be, you know. And if the Lord didn't shorten those days, even the very lick. Come on the now. Lake would be mm-hmm. That's now, what it says. Now, Lake Chidikaka. Now, they talked about that at the, at the conference Pastor Schaefer went to. And it has massive structures. And they say, no way possible ancient man could put this stuff together. <laughs> you got bodies. We, got, we have body methods and we couldn't be able to put it together the way it's put together. But they believe that they had the abilities through sound to make the stones rise and go into place. Mm-hmm. Remember, I know you know Hal Lindsey. Mm-hmm. He wrote a book called The Late Great Planet, Planet Earth. Mm-hmm. He had something with that book. You probably never read it. Mm-hmm. Then there was a Jewish guy named uh, Zachariah Siskin. Yeah. He did a whole series. I read I read about Drill Four Sisson's book. I had a friend of mine turn me on to him when he talked about the twelfth planet. That's where they get planet X and all that. Wow. It has a different type of uh, orbit. orbit and all yeah. that stuff. So the question Planet X, I mean I, I heard a little bit. What's what was the Nubru purpose of it? Is the name. Nubru, yeah. What was the perfect cause Well that fits into the ancient aliens because the Nuki Anunnaki, I'm saying let mm-hmm. me say it right. Anunnaki. They supposedly created us. Wow. And they were supposedly the ones that, if I'm understanding this right, that comes around on Planet X. Yeah. They come uh, off of Nibiru or Nibiru, however yeah, you want right. to say it. There's many ways that people say it. But they supposedly, and me and Brother Schaefer hit on this one time, and that kind of lightened me, is that they supposedly were the demigods who came down with the wings. Right. And they landed upon the earth, and they were the ones who helped them build a pyramid because if you look at the pyramids, they're on, on the same line. I don't know what line that is, but across the globe there and they're all turned and positioned in the same way and were supposedly built around the same time wow. so these demigods come supposedly off of the planet nibiru and came down to the earth and so when they talk about planet x and it's recoming it's coming again through our atmosphere then you know you got to say well, what's coming down is something coming out of the sky and then when you read the book of revelations you see that there are angels there are stars that fall from the sky they're angels that come down with keys to the bottom of the pit. pit. And they begin to open things up and things come out of those pits. There are demons that have been bound until that certain day, and then they're going to be loose. So I'm thinking, will these demigods reappear in this day and perform the signs and wonders and demand to be worshipped? Yeah, because it says in Revelation, mm-hmm. in the name of the name of those that's coming out of the pit, the leader's name is Apollyon or, or Apollo. Abaddon or upon the destruction and death. Yeah. Wow. I know it had a lot of people nervous. I, I mean, a lot of people scared about, you know, Planet X and so forth, so on. Okay, I got something here that I want to bring to your attention. It's uh, from Lisa Haven, and she just put this out. Dana uh, Turner sent it to me. She said, right. you need to listen to this. And it's an eight-minute video, and here's what it, it is uh, entitled. Attention. UFO slash alien disclosure about to be publicized if not then why was this just formed and she's got some information she just released it today i'm talking about just a few minutes ago so i Mm -hmm. want to play that 
right, uh, right. for our audience there, and this will help us. Help us you know, also. It, it right. keeps up. It keeps right. up exactly what we're talking about here. Let's see if we can get this right here on here. This is amazing. Yeah, I subscribed to her channel. Hi, everyone. Lisa Haven here, and I've got a massive report to share with you, and one I can guarantee you've likely not heard, uh, and one that's about to floor you. So what is that? Well, I have to ask the question, is UFO uh, disclosure about to happen? Why do I say that? Well, there is a panel that has just formed, and I'm going to tell you who is on this panel, but there are some pretty uh, high officials, everything from the DOD to the NSA to links with Area 51 and more, who have just formed with the one goal in mind, and that is to reveal the things that are in the shadows to the American public, to reveal the hidden mysteries of what's going on in the universe to the people. No joke. Now this thing just formed October 11th, so just the other day, it's a brand new organization, and the leader is Tom DeLong. It's spelled, his last name is spelled D-E-L-O-N-G-E. -E. But before I get into that, let me show you a report from Huffington Post, of all places. Uh, I was shocked. Uh, as I'll get out that it's actually on that one. Uh, but let me show you that. It kind of details a little bit. It's HuffPost.com, and the report is titled, Inside Knowledge About Unidentified Aerial Phenomenon Could Lead to World Changing Technology. Now, they have a little twist on that, but this report goes on to detail that something extraordinary is about to be revealed. Former high-level officials and scientists with deep black experience who have always remained in the shadows are not now stepping up to light. These insiders have long-standing connections to government agencies, which may have programs investing, uh, investigating the unidentified aerial phenomenon, also UFO type of stuff. They intend to move into the private sector to make all information declassified and any future knowledge available for you and me to see. Now that's massive, but who exactly? Let me take you, uh, I guess, straight to the website. Now this website, uh, is called www.tothestarsacademy.com, as you can see on the screen. Uh, and let me show you some of the panel uh, of team members. Now, I'm going to roll that screen through of, of panel members, and you can pause it and read some of that, of who these people are and what their credentials are. But in a nutshell, here's some of the people that are on this panel. A 25-year veteran for the CIA Director of Operations, that's huge. A Lockheed Martin program director, this is Steve Justice, uh, for advanced systems at Skunk Works. A former deputy assistant secretary of defense for intelligence, that's Chris Mello. A DOD senior intelligence officer who, among other responsibilities, ran the Pentagon Aerospace Threat Identification program focusing on unidentified aerial technologies and a bunch of other well-placed experienced professionals from intelligence and high academic positions are also on the board uh, linked to nasa linked to the nsa all kinds of stuff but i encourage you go to the website read some of the information on these people who are on this panel and your jaw will drop and you'll be left asking the question are they about to tell us about ufos and alien disclosure but that's not the only thing that this website website details. It also details technologies that they want to release to the public. And in some of the videos there, I'll leave videos below, and I've watched them in their entirety, they detail encounters that they've had with UFO and aircraft. They also detail encounters uh, of, of information that many people in the government want to keep quiet and don't want the American people to know about. But yet this panel has formed to tell you and me about some of those things that I believe we have full access and have every right to know. Just my personal opinion in that one. Uh, but on the starsacademy.com website, it, it goes into detail on the how we work section. And here's what some of the things are that they want to detail about technology or reveal about technology. Some of the things that they're going to be studying in addition to UFO, obviously. Uh, but the first one there is develop a human ultra experience database. What that is, is a worldwide digital database cataloging, cataloging the different types of supra normal experiences with the goal of creating algorithms to find patterns and correlate them with research. Intriguing. Here's another brain computer interface technology. They wanna create that, explore uh, the approaches to that. 
develop engineering the space-time metric, a next-generation aerospace propulsion technology using a concept referred to as metric engineering, which uses advanced math uh, modeling techniques, providing a technical base to the aerospace division for future products. Explore telepathy. No joke. I have talked about this one. This is something that the government has done multiple studies on. Obviously, they're revealing some of that to the American people. Uh, the location in the brain where phenomena is, is centered and developed protocols to enhance and use. And finally, developed advanced electrogravit uh, tick propulsion, excuse me, that word just doesn't want to come on my tongue right, uh, an exotic aerospace technology involving forward-thinking physics principles that complement present-day technologies with applications from new areas of research. This is huge. This is huge. Now, here's the thing. Also in that video, uh, some of the people who are high up exclaim and very uh, hugely say UFOs are real. Talk about the encounters with them. This is what this organization is all about. I encourage you guys, go there, go to that website, read everything on it. Uh, but it's interesting because the owner, Tom DeLong, who has been studying the UFO technology for years, again, has contacts with people who have contacts with Area 51. Uh, he specifically is putting this together to reveal the things that are in the shadow and expose them and bring them forward to you and I. And he wants to establish three kind of divisions. It's science, aerospace, and entertainment. Uh, but it's a public benefit corporation which allows the research into phenomenon that others are refusing to tell you, what the government is refusing to tell you, what the deep state doesn't want you to know about. Well, I say it's about darn time that some of this information gets out and gets revealed to the public. I think this is great. Uh, this is a brand new group that is just formed, and I encourage everyone to check it out because if we want to alien disclosure well this is going to be the start of it some things to think about in addition to that we already have the vatican uh with their big vatican vault who's That's talking right. about baptizing aliens uh which is just crazy uh but we have um in Arizona, Mount Graham, uh, or we have the observatory there that's owned by the Vatican. We have Lucifer, of all things, one of the telescopes uh, looking up into space, which also, which is also linked to the Vatican. Interesting tie there. But they're obviously looking above and beyond into outer space for these type of technology, which personally, I believe the UFO phenomenon, if you take the biblical stance, they are... The uh, fallen angels, the Nephilim, the demonic forces of the spiritual realm, that is what those are. Interdimensional creatures, that's my personal opinion. Uh, but obviously, there is disclosure maybe about to take place. We'll see. I guess ultimately the time clock is ticking, but this is one organization you're going to want to keep an eye on because it's some pretty high up officials. Anyhow, wanted to bring you the latest on that. Please don't forget to get... Amen. All right. Wow. Well, you know, everything that I see, and the reason why I wanted to bring that up was that, like, if you listen to Ellie Marzulli. Yes. And Ellie Marzulli puts it like this here. He says, when they show up, we go up. That's the, one of his phrases <laughs> yeah. that he used. Amen. Because what's going to happen is that just as soon as the aliens show up mm -hmm. and, and, a, and a mile wide craft shows up over Washington, D.C. And, right. and hangs there. And it shows up over all the capitals of the world. Yeah. That's going to be a, a game changer for the church. Yep. Man. And that's where a lot of people are going to lose their 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 belief. Come on, brother. It's because they're going to come out and exactly. say that we are your alien saviors. Mm -hmm. We seated you here. And we are the ones who have now come to help you to the next phase in your, you know, your Evolution. ascension. Yeah. yeah. And uh, uh, all along, what it is, is alien deception with fallen. These are fallen angels. Yep. And, I, and I honestly believe that that is a end time working uh, that's going to happen. And the church is not ready for it. Pastors don't even want to talk about it. Because they're not teaching it. Because they don't know it. That's, that's, that's a you know, good They don't have no interest in it. I mean, it's, it's, but you see what I'm, what I'm about to say. Okay. Have you ever heard of Arthur C. Clarke? Yes. He wrote 2001 Space, Space Odyssey. Odyssey. Mm -hmm. uh, about a year ago, they did one on, I think it was on the History Channel, I don't remember. But they did When when Childhood Ends. Did you see that? Mm -mm. Try to find it. Okay. Because in that, they come down. 
that people accept him. Mm. And, and there was a scene in there where he said, well, why don't you reveal yourself? He said, we have to prepare you for, for the revealing of ourselves because, you know, to your mind, we are not attractive. Yeah. So when, uh, when the creature comes out, he looks like Baphomet. Oh, really? Really? Now that's the goat-headed god. Yeah, because yep. he has horns and mm -hmm. he has the hooves and all the rest of that. So, and I and I told a good friend of mine, which we've been in this kind of stuff for a long time. I say, man, check that out, man. Check it out. Check it out. But in the at the end of the story, at the end of that story, they destroy the earth. Okay. At the end of it, they you know they. They destroyed her at the end of it. But what I'm saying is that that was, that was interesting to me due to the fact that Arthur C. Clarke wrote this years ago. And he was a weirdo of the highest order. Mm -hmm. a, a brilliant weirdo, but weird. And he, and, and, the, and the concept looked something like. What's on the one screen one. here? Yeah, on the screen. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, there's one thing that, you know, we talk about this, this, um, this revelation that's coming to this, there's a, mm. uh, there's a thing that's getting ready to happen. Uh, it's right here in October. This is October the 12th, the, right. the airing of this uh, YouTube right here, of this uh, Facebook, but it's called Fatima. Have mm -hmm. you followed any of that? Fat I was Catholic for 27 years mm -hmm. of my life. Oh, <laughs> so you know what I'm talking about. I know what you're okay, talking about. Okay, so here, here's the, um, the big thing that's getting ready to happen on that. It's supposed to be um, this month. And I think it's October the seventeenth is is when they is the anniversary. Right. Is that uh, a Fatima? When, when, is that what it is? Yeah. Uh, well, October thirteenth, I think it is. Supposedly. October thirteenth, it is. Tomorrow, yeah. Friday when, the thirteenth. Yeah. When when Mary w told the children. Yes. The three children. Right. Now they claim that they didn't reveal all of the last message. And it's supposed to be one revealed. Tomorrow, I didn't one, know that. yes, a uh -huh. hundred years. This is one hundred years. They claim they didn't reveal all of the lessons. exactly from mm -hmm. nineteen seventeen. But supposedly that did rain and a storm and people mm -hmm. was out there and all that, and all of a sudden the rain stopped. Right, and they claim that the right. sun supposedly came down and hopped and skipped. But they then, dry. then they did some yeah. research on it. They said it wasn't the sun. It, it was, was a UFO. A UFO, exactly. <laughs> wow. Right. Now, so, so here's the thing. I just did a Wednesday night uh, teaching on this a couple of weeks ago on Fatima. Mm -hmm. When I came back from the Branson Conference, um, L.A. Marzulli had just mentioned this, but he didn't go into he it. He didn't go, day tip on. Didn't go day into it. Room. So I got the DVD that he had on Fatima. Mm -hmm. And, um, of course, it's just everything that you said back in 1917 for six months period of time. And it was the 13th of each month that they had an encounter with a Mary or Woman. a being. Yeah, so let's just do this yeah. here. They call it Mary. Yeah, because she's female. Yeah, supposedly. so it was a being. But in that area over there, they know that Astaroth is one of the gods that's in that area. In that area. Wow. Yeah, see so what I'm talking about? So mm -hmm. anyway, just they call it Mary. And then from that point on, of course, the Catholic Church got involved in it. And every year they, they make pilgrimages there. But tomorrow, the Pope is actually going to Fatima. Tomorrow, okay. So let's look at the let's look at the alien disclosure we're talking about. Is that when? Here's what I see in that. Is that just like you said? It was a UFO that appeared right at the sun. Mm -hmm. right. The clouds opened up. Right. Out flies the UFO because they asked for a sign. Mm -hmm. The children asked right. for a sign, and they said on this date there will be a sign. There was like 70,000 people, people there right. at this thing who saw this. So they said it was a silver disc that was uh, not not shiny, but it, it kind of right. hovered out oh. over, flew over the people, you know, and talks about all the. Yeah, and the so, people's clothes dried up. That people's was clothes got dried you know, People's like skin got burned. Right. It burst uh, some people's uh, the automobiles, uh, windshield, a lot of this stuff, all these things that happened there. So 100 years is tomorrow on this Fatima, okay? Fatima, right. So here's what I see, though. Look at this here. I believe that, that uh, um, 
the aliens, the this event, watch the way the people responded uh-huh. to a sign coming out of the sky uh-huh. to all of these people. And because of that, they built a religious shrine there. Right. Wow. Watch it now. They said, okay, if we do a disclosure, how would these people respond? And that 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 event was sucked up into the Catholic Church. Mm. Right. See what I'm getting at? So what will happen 100 years, which will be tomorrow, will there be an alien disclosure? And if there is an alien disclosure, the way man, we'll say we're 100 years smarter, they think. But what will happen is the same thing that will happen then is that when this disclosure happens, they will receive them as their alien saviors, just like they did with Mary, Mary. as being an alien, as a, a, savior, as a savior, that when wow. these things come, it's the pattern. And they watched how man and what they did with that disclosure. Does that make sense? That makes yeah, sense. It makes a lot so it'd be sense. very easy for people to see this is a, a spiritual experience. And all along, we know that the Catholic Church is already talking to and ready to baptize aliens. aliens. Right. They already oh, no, ready to, right. didn't know what they said? Yep. That's right. That they, and they also, emate, they also equated Islam right. with the same level as uh, Christianity. Christianity. Now watch this here. So even the name Fatima is a Muslim's name. Yes. Wow. That was Muhammad's daughter's, daughter's name. name. Huh? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. you got to look at the, the the Muslim tie and how it happened there in Portugal was that there that's a, a Muslim nation. Nation, right. And that a uh, there was a war there and a young girl got killed and they named that place Fatima. Fatima. And that's how the Muslim tie in to all of this comes in right on into the Catholic Church. And I, all of the, you've got to get the DVD from L.A. Marzulli. Marzulli to put it all together. But it's like, I can see how a hundred years ago when they had a supernatural experience, which was a UFO, but they didn't know what UFOs were. You know, that wasn't a terminology that they no. used, but it was a something that flew out of the sky. The sun danced in the sky or something, and they made a religious shrine out of it. That's the same thing that's going to happen when these aliens show up. People are going to start to worship them and see them as their alien yeah, saviors. Savior, That's what they're going to do. Above. And the Catholic Church is going to promote it. Mm-hmm. And they're going to promote it. And yeah, they already it. promote it. Exactly. Because they, they have a telescope. Yeah, I was just about to say that. you talk on Lucifer. Yes. What? what? Luke. Lucifer's but, the name of it. But something else you got to see. Help us out. How do you feel about this Pope? A lot of... I, well, I work with some people that are Catholic. They don't particularly care for this pope. Mm-hmm. Well, because of this reason. He, he's mm-hmm. openly denied Christ. Exactly. Yeah. And, well, you know what he did, too, is that when he he uh, made, here's what he said about the Muslim religion and about oh. Christianity. He said, okay, if if your father, spiritual father, is Abraham, and our spiritual father is Abraham, right. going up through the lineage of uh, Jacob right. to Abraham, that their spiritual lineage, the Muslims, is through Esau. And that because we are the same spiritual father, therefore Islam and Muslims and Christianity is on the same level. Mm-hmm. As long as their spiritual father is Abraham, that's why he has embraced them into the Catholic Church. Do you feel he's the false prophet? Uh, you're the prophet. <laughs> no, that's why I'm asking. <laughs> yeah, I didn't say false prophet. <laughs> The reason why I'm asking this question is yeah. because you know. Uh, Tom Horn wrote Petro's Romano, uh-huh. which is there was a, a priest named St. Malachi. He prophesied all the popes all the way down to the last one. Mm-hmm. The last one will be called Peter the Roman. All right. Tom Horn wrote a book about that. Now, Tom Horn is saying. He's not sure he's the last one, mm-hmm. but it's definitely, it was pronounced in this priest's prophecy. He will be called Peter the Roman. Now, he has some, to me, he has some of the false problem because he's the way he's coming out. Cause you know, Catholicism is considered to be the, you know, the, the world religion. That's right. That's right. But, 
But if he's not, the next one, he's going to be off the charts. Because this guy says stuff that's blasphemy in reality. To, 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 to Catholics. So the Catholics yeah. and everybody else. This guy says blasphemy. He's met with all the major leaders of the world. He met with Obama. He met with Putin. He met with this one, that one. All right. He kissed the Koran. Right, and he kissed the Koran. So, but what I'm saying now, if Tom Holland is right and said he don't know if he's not, he don't, he's not sure he, he's the last one. Because he's it, old and all that. Good but stuff. he did say, and he was able to predict, that the last one, next to the last one, would resign. Right. Remember, he said one would resign, resign. Right. and he resi- He got it to the to the very month, and this man resigned. Yeah, and he came. And in. he came on board, and they were absolutely shocked that how did he know that that pope was gonna one would resign, and the next one would take over, and it happened just like that. So he's believing that this is. I'm thinking last time I read mm-hmm. that he would believe that this is the last pope, and if it is, I mean I don't know how old this guy is. I don't know either. I don't keep it. But you got to realize, you got to look at all the things that he has done as far yeah. as oh, yeah. embracing He's... embracing Islam. Now, now I know you've heard of it, this guy I'm about to mention, Malachi Mark. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He had a book, and he died under unusual circumstances. They believe he had killed him. He was a priest, but he loved the Lord. And he was warning about Satan was coming into the church. He wrote a book called Windswept House. And in the beginning of that book, it details a black mass. All right. And now the book was supposed to be fiction, but they say in reality, that happened at the Vatican. Mm -hmm. A black mass. Now, we talk about the Vatican, but in the United States, you've had two black masses in cities. I forget the name of the city. No one was on the West Coast, and one was somewhere else, but they, they've they had two black masses in, in the United... No, at Harvard University, they had a black mass. Wow. So it's, it's all falling into place. It's all falling into place. That's why uh, we're going to have to have the power of God. And we also have to have the real spirit of God to be able to discern what is good, what is evil. Now, what I understand, one thing about is the Pope is you have the Pope that appears before the cameras, and that's him right there, Francis. But you have another Pope they call the Black Pope. You've heard of the Black Pope? Yeah, I heard of that. That's not skin color. No, it's, it's a place in the Roman dark. Catholicism yeah. that he wear he wears black robes, and they say the black pope is the one who runs the Vatican. He yeah. runs it, and Francis is the one who appears before the crowds, looks innocent, looks holy, blesses people. But the sinister part of the Roman Catholic, yeah, is operated right under his nose, and he knows about it, but he won't do anything about it. There's nothing he wants probably to do about it mm-hmm. oh, because of the corrupt, right, they would kill him and everybody connected with him. But the black pope works all of these rituals. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> they're, they're horrendous things that I have read and even heard supposedly personal testimonies of people who have been in the Vatican, under the Vatican, where they have a black marble slab with a pentagram carved in it, yeah. grooved, carved in it, and I they make that. children's sacrifices in the center of the pentagram, mm-hmm. and they let the blood run from that marble table out of those grooves that's cut into the shape of a pentagram and to the recipients that are at those corners at the points, right. and they drink the blood of that sacrificed child. And then that is a place they bring people in who are going higher up, and they consecrate dedicate them at right. that ceremony well well uh, for those of you that voted for hillary clinton they had something called spirit cooking mm-hmm. oh yeah got and this man john podesta was the one that spearheaded that mm-hmm. what's that woman's name that black-headed woman's name and I mean, we she's did a witch she is yeah, if there's anything worse than a witch, she's that too. But <laughs> but on top of that, we did a show with on her. Um, 
I'm, uh, yeah, she carved a pentagram. She did it. Took a knife on stage and carved a pentagram yeah. into her into her flesh, into her, mm. in front of everybody. She's oh, okay. I'll, I'll figure it out later. <laughs> I think Pastor gonna let us know in a minute who he, who she is. But I say Savannah Skinsky or something like that. It's one of those but, weird names. But what we got to realize is that Satan is took when they let. When they let the seed of Satan come into the United States, that replica of the gate of Pergamos. There you go. That's it. You was invited and everything that came with that. Yep. They got that uh, man down in uh, Boca Raton, Florida. And uh, the pastor said uh, he's he's getting a uh, pentagon. Of, uh, what you call it? Yeah. Pentagram. Pentagram. Wow. And red. And he's going to place it in the... Um, in d- downtown Boca Raton, and the senator said that they're going to allow them to do it. Now, this pastor, he said he's not going to let it happen. He got a sludge hammer. And he said, as soon as they put it down, I'm going to bust it up. He said, it's all on me if I have to go to jail. But he said, somebody have to stand. But they're not going to stand because, first no. of all, the Bushes, they were in the skull and bones. Yep, so it was. That's an luminous organization on yep. Yale University. Yale University. Barack Obama is a bully. That's considered to be the black Illuminati. Wow. <laughs> All right. So they're not. You got you got spiritual wickedness in high places. They're yeah, not going to come against this stuff. <laughs> so here's the thing. Let's do this here. When we were talking about the alien deception, mm-hmm. the Catholic Church will play up. You believe a huge part in that. Yeah. A huge part. In that. We already know. I mean, you just said that they had the that they have the Lucifer telescope right is it mount graham mount graham mount graham and that when they go there that they can look past way out into space and that that now that they have to wait till the armadas the ufo armadas get out of the way so that they can see further out i mean that stuff's already been revealed right you know i mean that this kind of stuff is going on so so here, here is just just my take on it. Okay, I believe I honestly believe this is me that UFOs is just like when Mary appeared to in Fatima, right? And they built this shrine, whatever they built. Because we're talking about, we always talk about the Catholic Church is going to be involved in this. Is that I believe that the UFOs, the 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 alien saviors have already been revealed to the Catholic Church. Right. They've already embraced them. That's what Tom Holland's talking about. That, right. that they have already yeah. done this, and that and and I'm and let's go ahead and just say this here. It, and if Mary, which was you know the Catholic Church, what I understand, does not believe Mary died, mm. that she ascended. Yeah, she ascended. She ascended. That she did not. Right, right. So she did not die. No, she did not. So she that was easy. In so it was easy then for them to believe. That Mary showed up at Fatima, right? Because she's in from the dead, and that if you are in the under that deception, don't laugh at me when I say this. Mary's already appeared to the Pope as well. Yeah, Pope, right. Pope. You, you, you see what I'm getting at? I understand what you And mean. with the aliens coming on board, and now it's just a matter of them setting things up for the revelation of the UFO, the alien saviors. And Mary will be leading the way in the Catholic Church for them to accept That's it. Right. That's right. You know what I'm talking because, about? Uh, this uh, is crazy. I know this is crazy. I, it's good because but you it know ties what? into Revelation, the Hall of the Babylon. Exactly. So wow. They all lay with her. That's what Revelation says, right? right. They all lay with her. That's right. So, you know, I mean, I just, I just look at um, the great end time deception coming. And I'm going, how does this piece together? Here's, here, is, here is my take on this prophet, is that if the church is to be casting out demons in the last days. Come on, right? Okay, that's, our, that's what God, he said, this is what we will nah, do. Cast out okay, demons. then my question is, where do they come from? And what is their end time mission? What is the end time deception? Jesus talked about deception. Right. And it's going to come through Lucifer, the devil. You know. And I look at where did aliens come, where did demons come from? Where do aliens come from? Where are the fallen angels at? What are they doing right now? The fallen angels, they're just not sitting back eating bonbons. 
No, you know what I mean? No. They are they are Pre- at work preparing yeah, preparing well, for to take over of, well, of the world again. Well, the scriptures say Satan will be what cast out yeah. and all his angels. Yeah, and that that means they will be cast out of the third heavens, out right. of the second heavens, down to the earth. To the earth. Yeah, and they're going to say, woe to the inhabitants of the earth, because Satan come with great wrath. Yes, it's going to be something else. Knowing that he but a short time. Right. And you look at the Catholic Church, it's, it's, it's just all a part of the world. My father, you know, he's from Port-au-Prince, Haiti. He grew up Catholic. <laughs> I mean, he used to be the cathedral boy that hold the Bible up and everything. I mean, he was, I mean, you look at any other, every country, <laughs> he is a Catholic Church, and they are one of the biggest devils yeah. they are. Yeah, because it's a, it's it's easier for you to be a Catholic. Yeah. Because when I was a Catholic, the priest the the priest didn't preach; he gave a homily, and it was like a little talk for a pep 15, talk. 20 minutes. <laughs> then you go, then you did ritual with the wine and the blood, and you took communion, and you went about your business. It was no preaching about repentance, no preaching about sin. Wow. Right now. And uh, like my old pastor used to say, if you was a Catholic, you was on the, a slide board there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let me make, give us a shout out here. We got Dana Turner. She's listening. Rachel Glanton's listening. Daniel Tiedman's listening. And I think there's a few that's afraid to listen. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> but, but, <laughs> they'll listen. Yeah. That one is not live. <laughs> well, it's not live. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> but, but what I'm saying is that now deception, well, we can look at it in the natural. Mm-hmm. We can talk about our nation. Our nation has been deceived. Yeah. Amen to that. <laughs> All right. I second the last, that. I did not vote for Barack Obama because I knew what he was. Because I was a history teacher. All right. When the man opened his mouth, I said, this guy's a socialist. Wow. <laughs> and then on top of that, when I prayed about it and started to discern his spirit, no way possible I could vote for Barack Obama. I said, I don't care if he's black as ace of spades, I'm not voting for Barack Obama. <laughs> and but uh and then then you got deceived for eight years with this man. Yeah, you got deceived eight years with him. Duh. <laughs> the thing that the thing that blew me away, he was an empty suit. I didn't it's not, it was not there. Well, and they gave him no uh-huh. peace prize. What did he do? And so, but, uh, and now, now he opened up a door that any donkey can be president. <laughs> That's being what nice I'm talking about. about. That. I'm being nice about that. He opened up the door for Donald Trump. Mm-hmm. Now, when you and I were born, no way possible, they would have voted for Obama nor him yeah. because he wasn't qualified for the job. Well, I tell you what, I tell you what was back in the day, which you can't, to me was one of the best presidents of my lifetime was, uh, I never believed that anybody who was in the movies. Yeah. yeah. Right. You're talking about Ronald, Ronald Reagan. Reagan. I never, Reagan. I never believed but it that. Wasn't... I mean, no, I'm just trying to say, but see, he'd already been a governor. Right. He had been a governor. You know what I mean? So you but, look at the way they govern. So that's but, how you can do that. But Reagan had a all-star cabinet. He yeah. had some heavy hitters, man. George Schultz and I forget who was the Secretary of State. All these guys was brilliant guys, heavy hitters. Only thing Reagan had to do was carry the message. That's all he did. <laughs> they were doing the work. Yeah. When when Bush's son became uh, president, uh, what was the, what's the guy name who was vice president? Uh, oh, Cheney. Cheney. Yeah, Cheney. Cheney. Dick Cheney is a heavy man. Yeah, that's He's true. He's a brilliant man. Now, one guy I thought would have been a, a great president, but his past messed him up because he's brilliant. Who was that? Uh, New Gingrich. Oh, New yeah. Gingrich is brilliant, man. Yeah, it was going to be. think on his feet and it's all that kind of stuff. It's going to be $2 gas. Yeah, but. <laughs> $2 gas. But what That's I'm it. saying is that. That's, that was going to be what I'm going to run on, $2 <laughs> gas. <laughs> Uncle Nudie messed himself up with the women and all the rest of that. <laughs> and then, you know, they came down heavy with that. He left his wife while she was sick and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, but they didn't say nothing about Clinton. Clinton was with a woman with his wife. Or Harvey yeah. or Harvey Weinstein. Yeah, and all the rest of that. Yeah. So, but what I'm saying is that it it, it, it fits in because we already deceived. Yeah. We already deceived. If you think we can be a great nation with division. No. 
And the right. scripture says, house divided cannot well, stand. stand. Yes, you Bible. already so let's this deceived. Here. Do you believe that, that uh, um, coming coming in the future that we will see, and I think we talked about this before we got in here, Steve and I, we talked about uh, um, 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 not martial law, but having civil war again. Do you believe that's coming? Uh, A lot of people are talking about it. Well, they want it to happen. I yeah. believe that. They pushing for it because what I'm saying now, listen to my, this is just me. This is my opinion. When you took down the statues, statues didn't kill nobody. Nope. Mm -hmm. It's a part of history. Yeah. I have no, when I look at a Confederate flag, it's just a flag. Mm -hmm. It has no it's part of our history. It's a part of our history, right. but it has no effect on me. Right. I don't mm. get mad. I don't feel I'm oppressed because I'm looking at a, <laughs> at a flag and all that rest of that kind of stuff. You know, I, I told one guy, you you can wrap yourself up and sleep in it. Mm -hmm. Don't bother me. Right. Yeah. But I do realize it's a part of the history of this country. So they're trying to take, okay, they're trying to take away sexes. Yep. Trying to take away your history. You know, I would say this term is, but don't, you know, I know any, nobody in this room would take it wrong when I say this here, that they're trying to whitewash history. Mm -hmm. Right. You know what I mean? But it's not right. really that. It's not. <laughs> yeah, it's not really. They want to whitewash it. it. No. Make you it know, hell. They, yeah, right. They want to just kind of take everything they out. They don't want to have no history right. because they want to present a new history. Mm -hmm. and, and, of course, if, if you know, it's like most children growing up now, most people growing up, their history that they know is as old as the milk in their refrigerator. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's right. true. As far back as they know. That's that's as far back as they know. As far as back as now, they I know. I taught history, so I had to know history. Is that true? But but what yeah, I'm saying now. Part. And if it's not on Facebook, they, they don't wanna, know it. They mm -hmm. want, a, they want a new representation of what this country is supposed to be about. Now, if you ask somebody what the country is supposed to be about, what kind of answer you is going to get? Mm. If you was American when we were growing up, this country was known to be a democracy first name. Mm -hmm. Yep. And I beg the difference. I'll argue with you if it's a democracy now. <laughs> when they passed. It was, it was formed to be a republic. It's mm -hmm. moved into democracy. Well, it moved into a democracy, and, and now I don't know what it is. And Come when they passed Obamacare. Oh, yeah. And it was unconstitutional. I thought I was so mad about that one. I did sign up for it. And got, <laughs> got taxed by the, you know, the government. Mm -hmm. But it's unconstitutional. Number one. And when this guy, John Roberts, said, he said in his, in his brief, it's unconstitutional, but it's a tax. Yeah, exactly. Now, mm. what they had on him to make him write that. They had to have something well, on Well, you know, here's the thing. What we talked about a while ago or the last session was talking about uh, the corruption will be revealed. Yep. And it will be revealed in the government. The government, I mean, in the uh, no, Supreme Court as well. Yep. And then, then with this thing about marriage, Ginsburg is a lesbian. And this woman, this Spanish woman, I forget her name, uh, on the Supreme Court. Sotomayor. She's a lesbian. Mm -hmm. They should have recluse themselves. Yep. Mm -hmm. They should never had an opportunity to vote on that. Mm. And their votes is one that swung the thing the way it did. Exactly. See, oh man, it's it's unbelievable, man. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. We deceive already. I'm, I remember. You can go along with this type of stuff. You deceived already. Hey, now let's do this here in the church. In the church, pastors in the church are supporting it. I'm going. Yeah. Can't y'all see? This doesn't even line up with scriptures at all. It does not. No, no line up with scriptures. I heard, a, I heard a preacher say one time, he said, if you want to bring a country down, you take their patriotism, you take their religion, and you take their finance. Mm -hmm. And if you look at that in America, that's what they're doing. That's what they've taken. And I truly believe, man, the, the true ones behind all this stuff is the Catholic Church. Because, I mean, if you look at it, if this country go down, for his finance and everything, who got all the money? Mm -hmm. Well, the reason, the way they take the patriotism the down is remove borders. <laughs> That's it. And once That's you remove exactly borders, you move borders, and, they, and there's no really no flag flying over your country. They remove the borders. Everybody comes in there, whatever they want to be. There is no 
United States of America. It's the North American states. And the thing I was reading, not, not, I'm not going to give the person name or what I was reading, but he said one of the ways, because you were talking about they were trying to start a race war. Mm-hmm. That's what they're doing. He said that they, and he said, please don't take this wrong, but these elites are attacking the blacks. The black people, because if you can get them riled up and all this police shooting, all that stuff and get that thing and you go back to history 400 years and you get them all riled up. And then he say once they attack the black and then they then they start with the whites, you know, flag and and different things like that. You know, he was saying, but he said they are targeting the black people to get them all riled up to start this race war. And he says, by the exactly. grace of God, that it didn't happen. Yet. You know, one of the things when we talk about the. Uh, starting the race wars or trying to re- or change mm-hmm. history and all, you know, even, and I have to watch myself, even with all this is going on, I don't go to down here, downtown Augusta and even think about removing any of the statues yeah. that now are go, down there. James Brown, I mean, all the, yeah. James, you have a James Brown <laughs> that's statue exactly right. that's, that's downtown. You, I mean, you, and listen here, and you have all the streets that are named. That's right. From this, and let me, and what I, you know, this is what I said in the past. That's what you can expect. Y'all, that's what I'm saying. You can expect name changes to happen on streets. Mm-hmm. Right. You can expect these things to happen right. because our history is, is, is progressing. That's right. And 100 years from now, it'll be other statues that will be taken. Come on down. now. It'll be that's other exactly names right. that will change. But the thing is, the gospel of Jesus doesn't change. It doesn't change. So Same you, can't, day, you cannot let this stuff affect us in the way that we love each other or that we present the gospel in any way. So the thing is, is that when this stuff is in the church, come on, bro. That's where the distractions come that's from. That's where it comes from. You yeah, know, and the divisions have, come you from. You have ministers that are talking about like uh, Jamal Bryant. Yeah, he Jamal can't Bryant. minister to white people. He sent to black people. Yep, mm-hmm. that's what they say. Uh, but it, how you a minister? You just send to one race of people. Now, this, if I'm not mistaken, this gospel is so a universe. Ain't universe is not the biggest word. It just the whole life. I mean, that Bible is so uni- universe. I mean, it, it retains to everything. How can you get as a, a black man or a white man or a Hispanic or Chinese that's a Christian say that this only for my people? When that gospel is so diverse, it's for everybody. And you got people in the churches now that's sitting here that are saved, filled with the Holy Ghost. That's why... When, you know, God spoke to me, he said one of the biggest thing that's lost in the church is holiness. Mm. Yeah, have y'all have y'all heard the uh, Paul Harvey 1969, If yes. I Were the Devil? Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, I heard that. that. You may find it. You may find it. Y'all to play that. Yes, you need if to. If I Were the Devil, because what's happening is bigger than just that's the right. topics that we're discussing. What's happening is the world wants to take down America. That's right. The elite of the world, the world leaders want to take down America. Because America is a bright and shining example of what can right. happen in the world. Right. And if they can get us to bow down, bow down and exactly. give up our national sovereignty, which is a move. Right. Give up your national so- sovereignty, take down your well. borders, and then you cease to exist as a nation. America is unlike any other country. We can be totally to, dependent. We've got right. our own our gas, our own oil. We've that. got plenty of water. We've got plenty of science. We've got, we've got plenty of everything to be absolutely, totally sufficient. But they want to take us down so that we will never be sufficient, no. so that we will never again have the power that we have. And then we'll be like everybody else in the world, and we'll just be another voice instead of a Christian voice. And and, and, I, and I want to say this, too. And, I, and this this is, you know, I understand, you know, I, you know, as a black man, you know, as a black American, I see things that happen. I experience racism from both three sides, from white people. The same black people that look just like me and the police officers. But my sanctuary was, was the gospel. Now, you know, I, just, I, I I see, you know, with the flag and with the knee and all that. But I'm like this. I don't care what color you are, whether you black or blue or white. I am not going to compromise my gospel, my walk for Jesus Christ for any color. I don't care who you are. I'm sorry. Because at the end of the day. There's no segregation in heaven. They definitely none in hell. That's right. Because the Bible says it's enlarging every day. So I'm not going to do that. I don't care what's going on in this country or about me being the black man and all this. I am not doing that. I'm going to stand on the word of God since from 1970, what, 83, when I was a child. Okay, ready? 
Yeah, listen to this, and this will tell you uh, what's happening I've in America. It. You've heard it, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I can't hear it yet. If I were the devil. There we go. If I were the devil. If I were the prince of darkness, I'd want to engulf the whole world in darkness, and I'd have a third of its real estate, and I'd have a third of its real estate and four-fifths of its population, but I wouldn't be happy until I had seized the ripest apple on the tree, the. So I'd set about, however necessary, to take over the United States. I'd subvert the churches first. I'd begin with a campaign of whispers. With the wisdom of a serpent, I would whisper to you, or to you, as I whispered to Eve, do as you please. To the young, I would whisper that the Bible is a myth. I would convince them that man created God instead of the other way around. I would confide that what's bad is good and what's good is square. And the old, I would teach to pray after me, our father, Jart in Washington. And then I'd get organized. I'd educate authors in how to make lurid literature exciting so that anything else would appear dull and uninteresting. I'd threaten TV with dirtier movies and vice versa. I'd peddle narcotics to whom I could. I'd sell alcohol to ladies and gentlemen of distinction. I'd tranquilize the rest with pills. If I were the devil, I'd soon have families at war with themselves, churches at war with themselves, and nations at war with themselves until each in its turn was consumed. And with promises of higher ratings, I'd have mesmerizing media fanning the flames. If I were the devil, I would encourage schools to refine young intellects, but neglect to discipline emotions, just let those run wild. Until before you knew it, you'd have to have drug-sniffing dogs and metal detectors at every schoolhouse door. Within a decade, I'd have prisons overflowing. I'd have judges promoting pornography. Soon I could evict God from the courthouse, then from the schoolhouse, and then from the houses of Congress. And in his own churches, I would substitute psychology for religion and deify science. I would lure priests and pastors into misusing boys and girls and church money. If I were the devil, I'd make the symbol of Easter an egg and the symbol of Christmas a bottle. If I were the devil, I'd take from those who have and give to those who wanted until I had killed the incentive of the ambitious. And what'll you bet? I couldn't get whole states to promote gambling (laughs) as the way to get rich. I would caution against extremes in hard work, in patriotism, in moral conduct. I would convince the young that marriage is old-fashioned, that swinging is more fun, that what you see on TV is the way to be. And thus I could undress you in public, and I could lure you into bed with diseases for which there is no cure. In other words, if I were the devil, I'd just keep right on doing what he's doing. Paul Harvey. Good day. Now, that was a prophecy. That was. And that has come to pass, guys. That is exactly, and it's, it's worked great it's just worked great and that is the agenda of a one world order and that will happen because in the bible there will be one man that's and right there will be one government and all will bow to him or they will be killed by him yeah. yep and and the system was already bad and i was reading an article they got a resort past the schaefer a resort in columbia somewhere in columbia where you can go you can have sex with over 60 women all the cocaine and drug you want to do, all the alcohol you want to do, play golf, and just just fornicate at a price. And they will pick you up in the limousine. They will drop you off, and you have all that pleasure. And it is, they making it legal. They Matter of fact, they get ready to put it out right now. Now, you look at the status of this world, you know, I mean, all the cocaine and crack or whatever drug your choice, you can wonder. It's a result. It's somewhere in Colombia. They didn't give no specific names, but they got. I mean, and it's it's supposed to be a uh, uh, the sexual is supposed to be drug. Like if you get ready to die or or you you finna get ready to die in, in like three months to live or you and your friends. Hey, I just want to live the life to the fullest. I mean, I just want to do everything I dreamed of. And you can do that, and they got a place right now. They setting up, and they are posting this online. Yeah, well, 
You just all you got to do is pay that money. Well, they got sex robots and all. Well, yeah. and I was gonna hope you was oh, gonna yeah. go there. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hey, let me tell you, let me tell you, uh, sex with robots. Didn't we do a pr- sex yeah. bots? Now we yep. did that, didn't sex we, brother? Yeah, a yeah. Ago. we did that. A now couple they, weeks they ago. also got the ones with it, just the the regular, uh, the shell. They, they don't do anything because I seen guys married, love them, but this sex robot thing is yeah, artificial intelligence. Mm-hmm. The next step, I just got some information. Yep. I'm gonna be doing a show on this one here that they like sex bots. They have already got the artificial intelligence where it, it's artificial intelligence gods. It's mm-hmm. an artificial god. Yeah. You know what I mean? Where you worship this uh, this being. Well, don't, don't, that's where it's stepping up to. That's right. See what I mean? Don't worry about the, the ones that well, got a little a, children. He makes an image of the beast. Yeah. So I'm talking about? Yeah, so I anyway. Yep. They're going to have because the Because in Europe, the, the that's right. start protesting. Yep. <laughs> and, but you know, listen, and what we, and what so we talked seriously. about, what we talked about the sex, sex bots is this: is that now that you fall in love with this sex bot, right? Okay, and have sex with it, you want to marry it, whatever you yep, want to do, you can do it. Marriage is coming with objects, That's exactly. With the with this this artificial intelligence, and 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 this here is that we know that demons can inhabit objects. objects. That's right. right. So that what you're doing now is having sex with a demonized object Object. Mm -hmm. right you know i'm talking about that is able to move talk and assume to have its own thought patterns in reality is you know this is crazy stuff no this is the world that we live in in. when you get a psychiatrist to say in europe well this uh pedophile doll they need this because this will help they urge when he passed this and say this okay and have little children as dolls with me in Europe, my thing is okay. The police officer mm-hmm. saying that these people are buying them, and these psychiatrists. But, but I'm like, if you the police, you need to get the person that's making it, not the person that's buying it. The one that's it. making it, but I they won't trust them. them. Yes, yeah, get both of them. them. They're not gonna do that. So, so here's the making thing: money. the ultimate goal <laughs> in the sex bots is not just the uh, the pleasure aspect of it, yeah. but on the other side of it, who's creating this? That's right. Is listen here is to create a DNA bank who is looking for the Nephilim genes. Wow. Man, that's a man. See what I'm talking about? Wow. That is and if crazy. they can find that Nephilim gene that's there, then of course, then they can, re- through the genes, they can resurrect the Nephilims. See what I'm getting at through the. So, I know I know this stuff is kind of crazy out here, but I'm not, not the I'm not the one doing this nope. this is what our scientists are doing That's what they're doing. and they're telling us that they're searching for these type things just like hitler searched for Man. these type mm. things these yes, supernatural things and caused this world chaos right well he it wasn't it was really heinrich himmler mm. himmler was the mystic him and uh him and the other guy that uh, died in um britain he went to prison in britain before the war, he flew a plane to Britain, but they were the mystics, cause he he uh he was a uh, a part of the 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 Thule Society in Germany. That was a a cultist, mm-hmm. and the reason why he learned how to uh, speak, this man name was Dietrich Eckhart. He told him how mannerisms. To you, and guess what? Now I showed you. Because when I was teaching school, I used to stop the uh, the video, and I and I did it. I showed his gestures, not the sound. And I saw. I told the children. I said, "What does he look like?" They said, "He looks like a preacher." <laughs> wow. Mm-hmm. That's how they do it. So, do you remember the thing? One of the things that they were looking for. That of course he looked for a lot of objects. He needed the supernatural objects, right. but it was the spear, spear of Longos, and that would be the spear for what they thought that destiny. was destiny, and that would be the one that anything that was the one that pierced, pierced Christ, Christ inside. So, right. but look at this here. here here's the thing: <sighs> did they still not search for that? Look at it here. Still are is it and being able? Well, watch this here. Take the DNA mm. off the tip of the spear. Spear, right? Mm. It would be the the DNA of who? Jesus if Christ. if that was the truth, okay, if true. it was true, but, the, but what will it be? It would be the DNA of something. Something yeah. we don't know where it's going to be. Exactly. But what I'm saying, the legend said whoever has this will rule the world. The world. Mm-hmm. Wow. Isn't There's a amazing? guy named Albert Speer that that wrote a book about 
Mm-hmm. It's just crazy mm-hmm. stuff. And he wrote a lot about the Nazis. And I had, when, well, when I was in school, I had a, so how could this man control all these talk about people? And I started reading books That's how about, about his henchmen, the people who were around him. And all of them was involved in their go. Mm. And, and you know, and a, and a lot of the things they said that when Hitler went, did go around and they found a lot of the artifacts of, you know, th- of the different, um, of the different occult societies that they took right. over. Okay. And they would go find these things, whether they be books or spells or whatever right. they did that when they encase these things and that when he got close to them, that apps that they would actually an energy would appear and go in him. And that was in Hitler. You yeah. know, th- this was documented yeah. stuff that had actually entered in him. But we know what it was, was spirit. spirits like spirit. that was entered in, so entered question. in him. I always plunder this. Do you think he's still alive or he's dead? Because they he's never dead. he's dead. But I'm gonna say this: they had a they had a program which they took off. It was on the History Channel called Finding Hitler. Mm-hmm. And it came from the premise that he did not die in World War II. Now, I had an uncle that served in World War II. In matter of fact, he was in D Day. Mm. And I and I asked him. I said. Uh, how did they, how did y'all feel about history? Hitler, they said, any soldier that fought in that, in that theater did not think he died. Got out. They said he didn't die. You can, you can tell by the evilness in the world. He said that to me. Mm-hmm. Wow. And he said, but anyway, uh, but finding Hitler was on last year. Mm-hmm. Very popular. I watched some of it. Yeah, because mm-hmm. they traced him all the way to Argentina. To Argentina, because mm-hmm. see, there was a book written called. And they made a movie about it. Gregory Peck played the German. Uh, it was called Boys from Brazil, and it talked about them going to Brazil. And in that film, which I didn't know nothing about that, they said they had DNA. Mm. And they right. took the DNA of Hitler. They yeah. was going to take the DNA and create a new Fuhrer. That was in the film. Yeah, now see, I believe that. Wow. I believe that they can do the DNA thing. Now that I see this, here, mm. if they can, if they can, um, uh, I'm gonna duplicate Dolly, right? And I'm talking about Dolly Parton. I think Dolly the sheep, the sheep. Right. That has no telling how many they already recreating of Hillary Clinton's. They've right. been doing racehorses for years and years. Yeah, I, I heard they have done cloning. I, there's a lady they goes claim to my church. Clone yeah. people too. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure they have. Oh, yeah. They're not yeah, going for, to admit For body parts. Yeah. They're not going for to admit For body it. parts. But they're, going, they're doing it. Mm. And, and, of course, now when we talk about transferring collective consciousness over into another body, I believe I, – do I believe that happens? I believe to a, a large degree, yes. But it's demonic spirits that are transferring from this person to that person and be caught – watch this here. This is good. Because it is um, part of the same DNA, the demons own the bloodline and can mm-hmm. at will move between that one to that one, the, the cloned part. Right. You see what I'm getting at? Mm-hmm. Because of the bloodline. That, you know, I know this is too far out there. Now, That's why it's Project Sierra. You, yeah. you have an example of that through that girl that had the transplants with the organs, how that the demons came through the transplant yeah. into, the, into the girl. that I did. We did. We had a person that we took through deliverance that when we were taking them through deliverance uh just say i got a spirit of rejection out and i said uh, come out rejection it went out then there was another one i said who are you it says uh, i'm rejection i'm going i just got you out I said i'm a different rejection i says where did you come from I said i came through the donor mm. the donor's mm. body parts mm. so i looked at the lady i said what tell me what what happened she said was the kidney i think she had a kidney transplant she had three different transplants. different body parts but the demon came through the transplanted body part when they took the kidney mm. and they put the kidney in the girl she is that did. that spirit that was in the other person stayed she in the her. kidney and was there and we were exercising and i said tell me what the donor's name was and the spirit gave me the name of the donor and the lady was able to confirm that yet yeah, that was it that wow. was it wow because they did that they did that on one of those news shows they had i don't know what show it was but anyway they say people that have, that get other body parts, mm-hmm. 
they go into taking on the personalities and go to some of the stuff that the people that they've got the body right. part from. So the the revelation there is that that is not the person nor a collective memory of sales, but a demon spirit that wow. was familiar mm -hmm. with that person. Like if they took the heart right, right. and they put a heart transplant heart in, right. Right. that that spirit, the demon spirit, stayed with that heart because it had a choice right. either to stay with the body, the host, or because the heart is living, it's alive, and it wants to stay in tissue alive. Now it goes into the heart of the next mm. person, and now that spirit has been transplanted into them, and they take on the personality to take on the likes, the dislikes. Demon spirits use people's bodies. And they want to live out their life in a body because they don't have a body. They so, so they now take on, and you know, it's just it's crazy stuff, isn't it? No. So we're talking about collective consciousness. So we're saying you can clone right. because Hitler was very into, he was into uh, twins. Right. He, he was into cloning and having an island of twins mm -hmm. because what they wanted to do was co to create right. more twins so they could get body parts to cl to transplant their consciousness into, which was demons moving from one body to the next. That's what jo Joseph Mengele mm -hmm. did studies on that. It's crazy, isn't it? But in Hollywood, they had a movie. I don't know if you've ever seen this, but Denzel Washington played it called The Fallen. Yeah, I saw Oh, that. I saw that. And they yeah. would touch it. Yes. The spirit would go into the next verse. Now, let me tell you what is here. I had to watch that movie and years ago when it came out. So uh, when I say that, if you watch The Fallen movie, watch it. Don't listen to the language. Yeah, right. Please don't. No. Because here's the thing. It's the storyline and them touching the spirit being passed from one person, person to, to the next person just through touch. And, of course, there's a storyline there. And we have seen that ourselves when people who were demonized, and the Bible talks about not touching somebody, right. let them lay hands on right. you suddenly, yeah. because there is a spirit that is trans that can be transferred from you to them. And in that storyline, what would you call it? Uh, fallen. Didn't say, the fallen. fallen. Yeah, the the fallen. fallen is a spirit. That is trans, that is transmitted from person to person to person, only through touch, and it moves. I'm going. Well, they don't realize how much truth this is. You remember that happened to me at your church? We was going through deliverance with one person that touched me. Yeah. Something transferred to me, and yeah. they had me to go get deliverance. Mm -hmm. So I can I can concur with what he's saying. But you know, I say this from a church aspect because. You know, something became proper because one preacher said it, you know, everybody else got to see it if it sounds good. Uh, about people is talking about, well, you need to pray for my spirit. You know, preachers have, I don't know if you've heard other preachers say it, but I've heard, you need to pray that you get the spirit of your past. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, and that never did agree with me. Mm -hmm. If I'm going to pray for something, I'm going to pray for the spirit of God. But that's <laughs> Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But... But uh, one time a guy was saying that because the pastor can't have a spirit That's and right. it's not the right one. I was right about one. to say that. Exactly the right. The Holy Spirit told me, uh -huh. say, now if you pray for that, mm -hmm. you will get what the people see mm -hmm. and what the people don't see. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's right. Because I asked God about it. He said, mm -hmm. if you pray for that, you get what the people see and you'll get that part that the people don't see. Right. And I know what that did. Yes, <laughs> it was something please God. Man. All right, we're gonna have to. Uh, where are we at on this thing here? Does anybody know? We got uh, fifty-two. What? Two minutes? Yeah. Fifty-two minutes. Are we fifty-two minutes into yeah. this? Yeah, right. fifty-two. Got anything else we're gonna wrap up on this thing here? This has been a wild ride here. Well, actually, one hundred and seventeen minutes. Brother, you got anything else? Get ready because Jesus is coming. You see, all these things come to pass. Jesus said, "Look up. You know your redemption is drawing nigh." I'm just telling you, there's some crazy things going on. I know a lot of people would listen and they would have a hard time believing oh, yeah. the things that they're hearing. But instead of being dismissive, get uh, some information and do an investigation. It's easy to dismiss everybody as being a whack because you don't believe it. You've never heard it. Well, we but used there's to a lot do of that, things. Didn't we? Yeah, yeah, I've been there, done that. <laughs> took, you know, got rid of that mentality. And if you will do your own and ask God to give you wisdom, knowledge, understanding, divine revelation, and discernment, five things, you ask for those five things every day, God will begin to show you things you didn't know or didn't believe and had no idea. He show you things you know not of, the Bible says. That's, That's right. right. So don't dismiss it. That's Investigate right. it and ask God to give you.
I just want to get a shout out to uh, uh, I hope I'm saying his name, Patson B Henson. He is saying that hey, I'll I'll uh, I will message you after the show. He wants he wants to learn this stuff. Yeah, Mm -hmm. he's been on Facebook wide open. He you know so somebody's out there listening. Somebody wants to know. Somebody wants to receive it. All I say is keep your mind on God. That's right. That's all I can say. Keep your mind on God. All right, brother, you got it. I, I would just say, you know, uh, it's important that people realize that you're not saying, or we're not saying that we believe everything that has been said. Right. But right. these are theories. Exactly. This is there. what people are talking about. Yeah. That are out there. Right. Yeah. So the thing is, is that you have to study to so, show yourself <laughs> approved. And what happened one time to really open the door for me was an understanding, a greater understanding of the demonic activity that's happening all around us and the bible talks about us to not be caught unawares and not to be ignorant of satan's that's devices right. and know that he has influence uh within the church and within the world around us great deceptions coming and i don't want to be deceived if an alien spacecraft shows up and they say i'm your alien savior i'm going fallen angels these are demons and uh, don't expect me to come worship you because that's not happened, nor anybody in at University Parkway, because I've taught them the difference. You know what I'm going to tell them? Stay right there. I'll be right back. Got to get a gun. <laughs> <laughs> Hold right there. We got to get a gun. They got to want it. <laughs> we got to get a gun. Got to get a gun. gun. Uh, it's going to be all right. That's all right. They still going to go around and run off the side of the building. One thing God told me, he said, we'll see who will be the true followers of Christ in time. That's what he said. In time, we'll see. Are you ready? Don't miss the next episode of Special Edition In Time Revelation. <laughs>